Who doesn't love dogs? I mean, they're called man's best friend for a reason, right? However, there are some breeds out there that just aren't allowed everywhere. I'm Bob from World 5 List. Here are dogs from around the world that are illegal in some places. Number 12. The American Bulldog now, I know what you're thinking. What, a bulldog is banned in some places? How can that be right? Well, as in all things, context is the key. While in America, especially in the South, the American bulldog is revered, certain other countries just don't like them for a good reason. But we begin with the positives. The American bulldog is very hardworking. They're known as farm dogs and can be relied upon to do the work that their owners give them. I mean, just look at this dog. It's fit, it's muscular, and more. The best part about it is that they have a very social nature and they're easily able to get people to warm up to them and show them affection. So why are they banned in countries like Denmark and Singapore and others? Well, because the bulldog has a certain quality they don't appreciate. The dogs can get aggressive in completing their tasks, and when they fight, they fight to win, and they don't stop attacking their foe until it yields to them. So you can understand why they're banned in some places. Number 11. The Wolf Dog now, on the surface, it may seem like an obvious choice for the banned list because many countries in the world don't even like wolves. And some countries, including the United States, have hunted some breeds to near extinction. To be clear, though, the wolf dog is not a wolf. It's a dog, one that's mixed with a wolf. Believe it or not, there are actually numerous breeds of wolf dog mixes, and I find that pretty cool. The wolf dog, though, hails from the Czech Republic, and though it seems to be accepted there, Norway isn't so kind. They've actually banned the breed from being owned because of how it's bred, as well as the fact that while it's not full wolf, it does have wolf-like tendencies at times, including being rather unpredictable and not being a faithful dog breed. This makes it dangerous in the eyes of Norwegians. Number 10. Ban Dog but first, do you think that some of these dogs, or all of them, should be banned? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe while you're here. Now, how's that for irony for a dog named on my list? But it is a real breed, and the band dog is actually named because of its history. This was a type of dog that you actually would not put on a chain or a leash. Instead, it could roam free around the house and the yard and was deemed a protector of the home and its inhabitants, with pretty good results. So why is it banned if it's such a great protector? Well, that's the thing, though they come from a time that valued such actions, nowadays it's not so clear cut. Plus, band dogs are actually really big, and they can be really imposing as well as heavy. Though they're friendly to anyone who isn't trying to harm them or their masters, they aren't the easiest dogs to keep under control. They have a mission, and they're going to complete it no matter what. So, for those reasons, it's understandable why they're banned in numerous countries around the world. Number 9. The Pit Bull Now, the hits just keep on coming, but this time just about everyone knows about a pit bull. The dog, not the singer. And they know exactly why these little things are on the list of banned dogs. They, well, they can be mean, like totally mean. And you'd think that given their size, this wouldn't be a problem, but it is. Now, in a study that was done about breeds of dogs that attack humans, pit bulls actually account for 45% of attacks. And if that's not jarring enough, a lot of those attacks were on children. The weirdest part about it all was that pit bulls were actually made to bait bulls and bears. Regardless of their sometimes fierce nature, they do have a restriction ban placed on them in various parts of the world, and a lot of people fear the pit bull. I will say this though, I own a pit bull myself, and she's actually the sweetest lap dog in the world, and more likely to lick your face off than she is to attack you. And I know a bunch of others as well. So perhaps it's time to drop the stigma. Number 8. The Fila Brasileiro 
This dog is a really big dog, but they use that size to their advantage. The dogs are known for being incredibly athletic, which is saying something given that dogs in general are stated to be athletic creatures to begin with. But just as important, it's actually a really smart animal, its intelligence being well documented. So you'd think that it would make the Fila Brasileiro a very desirable pet. However, they have a dark side. Mainly, they are very aggressive creatures, and because of their size, they have a lot of strength to back it up. Number 7. The Neapolitan Mastiff I want you to take a real good look at the Neapolitan Mastiff. Doesn't the dog just scream, don't mess with me? If so, you're not alone because the Neapolitan Mastiff has been a protector of the home and of countries for a very, very long time. In fact, these dogs were actually used as war dogs during the days of the Roman Empire. Fast forward to the modern age, and people now use them to protect their homes, which they're very capable of doing due to their incredibly loyal nature, as well as being able to think independently in order to get the job done. While they are intimidating in looks, they're known to be very kind to children and have very sociable natures. So all in all, it's a great dog to have. However, they're banned in Singapore. It's likely the same reason as the bulldog and the band dog. They don't want to risk their canines going off on people. Number 6. Dogo Argentino Now, if you've ever wondered to yourself, why do new dog and cat species get bred? Well, often it's because of a need or a desire to have a very specific kind of pet. A great example of this is Dogo Argentino. Made in Argentina, these dogs were bred to be hunters' companions and were bred to help with big game hunting. I'm talking about boars and pumas here, people. Now, more funnily enough, despite it being a big game dog, it's actually not that aggressive. It's going to do whatever its owner tells it to do, but it doesn't rush off for the thrill of the hunt. It's just not how it's made. However, to ensure that they can truly help out on the hunt, the Dogo Argentino were made with incredible athleticism and have very strong bodies. This is worrisome to countries like the UK, Portugal, Australia, and more, and thus they have a ban there. Number 5. The Japanese Tosa Inu You know, when your designation in life is to be a fighter, you know that's going to raise some alarms. Sadly, many dog breeds have been bred to be fighting dogs, both for protection, for war, and for illegal dog fighting rings. One of the top dogs in those categories? The Japanese Tosa Inu. Now, don't let its simplistic look fool you because the dog is a beast and can weigh up to 200 pounds. Because of its size and genetic makeup, not to mention that it's a fighting dog, it's been banned in countries like Denmark, Malta, Norway, and others. Number 4. The Boer Boel Like many dogs on the list, the Boer Boel are guard dogs, and very good ones at that. They're bred to be lean, muscular, and strong while also having a loyalty to their masters. Not only that, they show a great joy in doing their job, being very driven to do it well. So, in Africa, a diamond mine actually imported some of these dogs in order to guard their mine from intruders. But what some people love, other people fear. And so, of course, Denmark, along with Romania, Russia, Ukraine, France, Malaysia, Qatar, Switzerland, and Bermuda all refuse to have this dog in their country. Their loss in my mind. Number 3. The Doberman Pinscher There are a lot of dogs who are intimidating by nature, and because of that, they get a bad rap. And then there's the Doberman Pinscher who lives up to the height of that bad rap. To be clear, it's completely fine to have one of these dogs and they can be great, but they're also known to be incredibly aggressive, especially to strangers. Studies conducted on dog aggression to strangers and Dobermans ranked pretty high on the list. In fact, some state that the nature of the Doberman can actually vary from situation to situation. That's not something you want in a dog. Add to that the size and strength, and you can see why it's not beloved all over the world. Number 2. Alaskan Malamutes Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I was actually kind of stunned to find this dog on the list of banned dog breeds in the world. It's just 
mystifying to me because I once raised one of their cousins in a Siberian husky. To me, the Alaskan Malamute are some of the most beautiful dogs in the world, bar none. But hidden beneath that gorgeous fur coat is a personality that can sometimes cause trouble. Anyone who's ever owned one will know that they are high-energy creatures and almost always want to play. They can tire out their owners because of it. So if you want to own one, make sure you have the time and energy for it. But the real personality flaw here is how they view being endangered. Their mindset is literally to take out anything that can harm it. This has resulted in a lot of death, including humans. And thus, they're banned in many parts of the world. Number 1. The Presa Canario there are a lot of dogs in the world. I would like to think that a vast majority of them are good-natured. However, this one is most definitely not. If you've ever heard the term born bad, then the Presa Canario would definitely make that list. They're born with a distrust of people, and you have to earn their respect. And if you're a stranger, they won't hesitate to get in your face or even attack you. Not a nice dog at all, but it gets worse, believe it or not. These dogs look intimidating, and there have been a lot of reports of them killing strangers, along with their own owners. They're so aggressive that they actually have to be trained to be nice, which is insane to think about. I'll be the first to tell you to always train and get the right dog for you, but if you try and pick one of these, you're going to be on your own. When it all boils down to it, a dog is going to act how you treat it. So be a responsible dog owner. Get your dog well trained. Be nice to it. Love it. Give it treats. And hopefully it doesn't turn on you. Thanks for watching. Can you believe some of the dogs that made this list? I know I can't believe it either. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World 5.